Hello everyone, it's Ryan Arshall, West Ham Fan TV. It's the day after the game. Uh, obviously, West Ham suffered a 3-2 home loss to Leicester City yesterday. Leicester took an early 2-0 lead with goals from Mares and Robert Hoof. Uh, we got one back with Lanzini, great free kick. And then just before half-time, sucker punch, Jamie Vardy put them 3-1 up. Uh, second half, we got a goal back through Andre Ayew. Um, but, you know, we just couldn't get that crucial goal. I mean, we had the chances. I mean, I could be sitting here now talking about us winning the game or even getting a draw. But, as you all know, we lost 3-2, another home defeat. Uh, not been a great week uh, for West Ham with losing to Bournemouth as well. But look, I'm going to go through the player ratings for yesterday's game. So let's start off in goal. Number one, Darren Randolph. Uh, questionable about the first goal. Should he have saved it? At first, I put a lot of blame on him. But looking back at the replay, uh, you can see that First uh, font, I think it was. No, sorry, Winston Reid goes for it. So it looks like Jamie Vardy's going to header it. And then it goes through to Font, who looks like he could header it as well. So Randolph's uh, really waited late to react. And the bouncers beat him. Uh, second goal, once again, great free kick from Leicester. Could, could Randolph have done better with that? Once again, questionable. It's only Randolph knows whether he could have come and punched it or whether he could have got it. But look. He didn't really have a lot to do after that, especially in the second half. But I'm going to give Randolph a 5. 5 out of 10 for yesterday's performance. Um, wasn't his greatest, but I'll give him a 5. Let's move on now to right back, where we actually played a right back. Sam Byram come in. Thought we had a really good game yesterday, going forward. Uh, I like Sam Byram a lot. A um, couple of tackles he missed, uh, but look, he hasn't played a lot of games this season. He's got to get into the swing of being in the first team regular. I think he's due a run in the first team now. Um, like I said, I like the way he gets down the wing, whips a few balls in. Towards the end of the game, he did get tired, but that was through a lot of hard work and lack of match fitness. So I'm going to give Sam Byram a 7 out of 10 on yesterday's performance because uh, I thought he'd done really well. Uh, let's move on now to the centre-back pairing. Let's start off with Jose Font. Uh, once again, thought he had a poor game. Um... Been saying that quite a lot recently. Uh, we haven't kept a clean sheet since he's been in the team. Uh, once again, got caught out of position a few times. Uh, looks off the pace a bit uh, sometimes as well. Um, I think Ginger Pele is going to be knocking on the door to take his place in the next few weeks if Font don't step up. So based on yesterday's performance, uh, I'm going to give Font a 4 out of 10. Uh, now let's move on to Winston Reid. As we know, wasn't on the pitch long, went off injured after 15 minutes. But he was on the pitch for the first two goals that Leicester scored. Same again, got caught out of position. Should have won a header, especially for the first goal. Um, so I'm going to give Winston Reid. I know he didn't play that long, but I'm going to give him a 4 out of 10 as well. Um, based on his that 15 minutes, really. Uh, let's move on to left back now. Aaron Creswell. Um, thought he had a better game than what he did against Bournemouth. Uh, up and down the left wing. Um linking up well, but once again, he gets caught out too much. Um, bottled out of a few challenges again yesterday, but he did get stuck in on a couple as well, so I let him off of that. Um, but look, there's obviously room for improvement with Cres Creswell. He's getting a lot of stick at the moment. Uh, Masawaku is back now, so maybe Creswell might up his game because he's had no one to challenge him for that left, uh, left back spot for a little while. So I'm going to give Aaron Creswell a 5 out of 10. Uh, so now let's move on to the midfield. Let's start off with the centre mid midfield pairing. Uh, start off with Czech Kiate. Um, moved into centre mid, where we know he's better. He's been playing right back the last few weeks. I uh, thought he had a solid game. Started off started off well. Looked comfortable in midfield. Um, winning tackles. But then after 15 minutes, he had to get put back into centre back. Because Winston Reid went off. Um, so I felt a bit sorry for him now, but going on, going on the centre back, I thought he had a really solid performance at centre back. He looked comfortable there. He looks more comfortable there than he does at right back. So based on that, I mean, I thought Czech had a really good all round game yesterday. I'm going to give him a seven out of ten. Now let's move on to Pedro Obiang, who played alongside him. Um, it wasn't a great game from Pedro. I'll be honest. Um, he looks a bit lightweight sometimes. He gets knocked off the ball a bit too easy. Um, but he did play some good balls, spraying it about, playing, linking up with Lanzini well. Um, obviously went off as well. So, I mean, he only played 67 minutes of the game. 
I'm going to give Pedro Obiang, based on yesterday's performance, a 6 out of 10. Now let's move on to Andre Ayew. I thought he had a great game yesterday. Really good game. Got himself a goal as well. I love the way he tries to play off the play off players like Carroll and Lanzini. He's always looking for the ball as well. Um, like I said, he got himself another goal. He needs to start. He needs to start from now on. He's, he's crucial for us, especially with this running coming up. Uh, he's got himself a bit of goal scoring form now and assist as well. Like I said, I like the way he links up and the way he looks for the ball. I've got written down here. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Andre Ayew a seven out of ten for yesterday's performance. Uh, close to giving him an eight, but I don't think he was good as Lanzini. So let's move on to Lanzini. Once again, he was our he was our man in the match yesterday. Great free kick. You know he's got that in the locker. He's adding goals to his game now as well, which is good. He's always looking for that ball. He's looking to set people up. He's looking to to run off the play. You know, he's the only player in our team that really wants to have a go at players and take people on. And he's improving week after week. Um, it's just a shame the rest of the team can't stand up to him sometimes and, you know, help him out as much as he needs it. But look, Lanzini for me was our man in the match yesterday and I'm going to give him a solid 8 out of 10 for yesterday. Um, move on to Antonio now. Um, he had a mixed game for me. As you know, started off straight away. Threw on goal, it over the bar, and I thought, do you know what? He's gonna have a really good game. He was in and out of the game all the time. It wasn't, it wasn't a great performance for Antonio yesterday, but he was still one of the best players on the pitch for us. So that says a lot about the rest of the team. Um, like I said, he he linked up well with play. He takes people on. He lost the ball a few times yesterday, which it wasn't a typical Antonio performance, but he's still trying. Um, Every week, he gives 110%. Uh, he's, he's one of our best players we've got. So, look, yes, on yesterday's performance, I'm going to give Antonio a 7 out of 10. Same as Andre Ayew. I couldn't split the two, but I don't think they were both as good as Lanzini. Uh, and also, congratulations, Antonio, on, on your England call-up. Hopefully, you get a chance. Uh, well deserved. Uh, let's move on to up front, Andy Carroll. Once again, it wasn't, it wasn't a great performance from Andy Carroll. I mean... He had a few chances, he missed them, you know, he had that one right at the end, great save from Schmeichel, but he sort of hit at him. Anywhere either side of the goal, it would have gone in. Um, the Vardy's goal, Andy Carroll, if you watch the replay, I think he sort of shuts his eyes a bit. He could have headed that away. It's not like Andy Carroll, usually he clears them balls, but he's, he's he sort of ducked out of it. So, uh, like I said, he's... He's still a threat, but we seem to be looking for that all the time. And I think teams are starting to work us out. So maybe now we might have to change it around a bit. Should it be dropped or should we start someone like IU up front and mix it up a bit? We've got Sacco back in training tomorrow. So he should be on the bench for the whole game and Arsenal as well. So, and as you know, Bilic plays one up front. So is Carroll's um, place under threat a bit now. Uh, but as I said, look, I love Andy Carroll, you know, but look, based on yesterday's performance, I'm going to give Andy Carroll a 6 out of 10. Uh, substitutes, I mean, Snodgrass come on early for Winston Reid. Um, once again, he likes making the runs. I just His crossing's a bit poor for me. He, he's better than that. And uh, like I said on post-match pint, I, I think Snodgrass will grow into the West Ham way, like linking up with his players, getting to know his teammates. But we need him to start performing a bit more now. Uh, so I'm going to give Snodgrass a 6 out of 10. Um, Fernandez come on for Obiang in the 67th minute. Um, I thought he had a really good game. Looked comfortable. Uh, making runs. Played Byram down the wing quite a lot. Linking up with Antonio and Lanzini. I mean, I like Fernandez. I think he's got a big future at West Ham. Um, I like I like him. He's just the way he is. His build, his movement. Um, so I'm going to give I'm gonna give Fernandez a 7 out of 10. For when he come on, I thought he'd done really well. Uh, last one, Masawaku come on for Creswell, 73rd minute. Good to see him back. Good to see him back. Like I said earlier, gives Creswell a bit of competition now at left back. I like that he straight away come on, won, won a challenge, got down the wing, whipped in a ball. Uh, thought he played well, uh, looked comfortable on the ball once again. He's been out a long time, so hopefully we might see him a lot more in the next few weeks. So I'm going to give Masawaku a 7 out of 10. Uh, for his performance yesterday when he come on. So that's it for the team. I mean, 
let me know your comments below. Give me your ratings as well. Uh, if you agree with what I said, if you don't agree with what I said, give us your thoughts on the game as well. Uh, Slav and Bilic as well, I'm going to rate him. Um, got the team selection spot on for me. It's what we've all been wanting for a little while now. He just put the players in the wrong positions for me. Antonio starting out on the left, IU on the right. Didn't agree with that. I think they would have been better swapping around. But you know what? I'm going to give Bilic a 6 out of 10 for his team selection and substitutions as well. I thought he made good subs. Um... But looking back on the game, I mean, like I said at the beginning of the video, we had chances to win that game yesterday. So we was a bit down on post-match pint because we filmed straight after the game. So our emotions are still running high. It's disappointing to lose again. But look, if you haven't seen post-match pint, after this video, go and watch it. It's up, plus all the fan cams. So look, I'll leave that there. I'm Ryan Archer at West Ham Fan TV. They're my ratings. Now give me yours. Come on, you irons.